Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Watch J Eat. In today's episode, we're going to be trying possibly the worst Caribbean food in all of Montreal. Alright, we're just going to get to it. If you guys remember my last video that I made, we tried Curry Goat from Caribbean Food Factory, and I had a lot to say about that place and the way they, you know, make their food. And um, yeah, let's just say it wasn't the best of experiences. I gave them a 4.5 out of 10 for various reasons. Obviously, um, you know, Food Factory used to be pretty good and it kind of went downhill. When it comes to this place, this place is called Tropical Paradise. Um, all I have to say is that the first time I ever had Tropical Paradise, it was no, not to be racist because a white dude <laughs> brought me there. I know, hey, all I'm gonna say is that, you know, you know, you know, white people in Caribbean food, that's all I gotta say. If you are a fast food connoisseur, you would probably do the same thing as me and just take a knife over here, that's just what I do. And I like to cut off the top because I think it's annoying and also, the reason for why I do that is because now I can use that to put the bones or anything that I don't want to eat. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the plate real quick. This is what it's looking like real quick. Now, this is a jerk chicken plate, guys. This is a jerk chicken plate, or at least it's what's supposed to be a jerk chicken plate. Now, it looks pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Um, but there is a lot of stuff I'm going to have to say about this as well. So we're going to go ahead and pour ourselves some water out of this little glass jar that I have here for you guys today. Ooh, nice. All right, a little sip sip. I don't know how you guys like to keep your water. I like to keep my water at room temperature. I feel like when I drink uh, super cold water, it's not as um, enjoyable as an experience. Okay, so I have a couple things to say so far about this jerk chicken. Number one, it's looking like it got microwaved. Dude, that is dry. Now, like, your chicken's not supposed to be super tender, but this is just looking like it's kind of microwaved, no cap. Um, see if I can give you guys a little close up look on this. The autofocus decides to, to work. This is kind of looking like it was microwaved. Um, obviously, the lettuce wasn't microwaved, but chicken itself kind of looking like it was kind of put in the microwave. Um, the, the salad over here looks like there was no effort that was put in it whatsoever. Like, at least the last time they gave me Arctic Gardens, which is like, okay, you guys tried. This looks like they took some lettuce and they put it in a slop chop. Looks like they put like lettuce and carrots in a slop chop and just like slapped it in my little plate. I'm um, also, let's be real guys, um, we're going back to the Stone Age over here with these styrofoam containers. Um, you know, most restaurants are going with the reusable ones. They're pretty cheap, and these are horrible for the planet. So, I mean, yeah, don't know what to tell you. Anyways, um, yeah, so we got some like prehistoric, uh, ancient looking, you know, just give us a little sauce over here. I don't know what really saying, but this Put this the sauce in the salad. It's a little dressing, and we're gonna go to give you guys a little taste test. I can tell you guys for sure the salad tastes like ass. Actually, I had this plate before, and it's really not that good. But anyways, let's go on to, to try this. Oh my god. Guys, this is so freaking dry, bro. I'm not the good kind. Like, it's pasty in my mouth. Why, why do I keep getting dried chicken from these spots, bro? One, it does not taste like jerk chicken whatsoever. It doesn't taste like jerk chicken whatsoever. It's dry as hell. I'm actually kind of upset. Okay. 
You see that? Oh, you look bad. We need water to eat your chicken. I just saw it. I saw it and I instantly could tell that this. Did they just jerk the breast? You're kidding me, bro. There's no way they actually tried putting. There's a reason for you don't use the breast for jerk chicken. And that's simply due to the fact that the breast generally is going to be the driest part of a chicken. That's not bad. Texture wise. It's still kind of dry. But taste wise, it tastes like nothing, bro. It's not dry chicken, bro. Thing. This tastes like failed stew chicken. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is horrible. I'm eating it because yo, she's from the gym. Need my gains. And I paid for this, right? So. Okay, let me tell you, tell you guys one thing. When it comes to delivery, obviously you want quick delivery times. You don't want to wait too long for your food. But realistically, if it takes the time to make your food, I'd rather you cook the food properly and give me some extra, you know, take the time to actually, you know, bring it rather than give me something that just came out of the microwave. This right here, I guarantee you guys, came out of the microwave. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain to you guys why. Number one, when it comes to making Caribbean food, it does not take you like 10 minutes to cook it. It's going to take you at least like a good hour. Potentially, to make it fresh, season it properly. Obviously, you probably would marinate it the night before. If you run out, you run out. This is kind of how it works. At least that's what I hope they they would do. You know, you tell yourself this is how much we make in a day. We're gonna prepare this much for the next day, and then you just cook it. When you cook it, right? Um, this my G is not only dry as hell, but the food. Like, I live, I live down the street from the spot. I could walk there in like maybe 10 to 15 minutes, right? I had enough time to order the food, go take a shower and come out and it was already at my door. You get what I'm saying? And like, I showered for like maybe 10, 10 to 15 minutes max. That's a pretty long shower, but I came from the gym so I had to clean myself up real properly, you know what I'm saying? There's no way that you they made this in that time. Like, there's 0% chance. Like that was faster than McDonald's. You get what I'm saying? Like even McDonald's takes more time. And, and, I, and the McDonald's that's down the street is maybe like an extra like five minutes down the street. And you know, some guy takes a car and they still, it still takes more time. You get what I'm saying? This dude walked here. So like I put my order in, they literally had it, slammed it in the microwave and sent the guy to come bring us to my door. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. It's super dry. Flavorless. The rice looks like it's pilaf. Rice, man. What is this? Is this like Jimmy Oliver's jerk rice? The rice tastes like nothing, too. How does this have a 4.8 on Uber Eats? I'm not trying to be racist, but has to be like, like people who never had Caribbean food in their work in their life. Pour this, bro. This is this is so bad. And look, but look at the salad. You think I'm gonna eat this? 
But I mean, I will. Look at this, man. This is such a sad salad, bro. I mean, I used to put it. But look at the way they do the carrots. It looks like they use a freaking, uh, like a grater. It looks like they just grated it, bro. No effort. Hey, I'm trying to grate your, your, your salad. At least make it kind of like a coleslaw type of thing. But this is a sad. Yeah, honestly, I'm not, I'm not even gonna finish eating this on camera because I don't have anything else to really say about it. It's it's absolutely horrible, horrendously dry and tasteless food. Um, I, I kind of expected that already from the get go of me ordering this food, but for the sake of this video, um, I decided to sacrifice 20 bucks to get a piece of shit on a, on, 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 a, on a piece of styrofoam. Anyways, um, I want to give this plate a two out of 10. Um, the only reason why it has a two is because I can actually put it down my stomach. But besides that, it's actually absolutely horrible and I would not recommend this to anybody at all. Um, I'm probably gonna make a video in the future of me comparing this to my mom's food or something like that and we are going to see. Heck, I might even bring my mom over and make her try this and see how she reacts to it because this is absolutely disgusting. Um, dude, look at this, man. This thing looks, this, why does it look like a pork chop? Why does it look like a pork chop? And order pork. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. As always, leave a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this right here. And if it's any Caribbean food lovers out there, let me know what you, what you think of this shit. Anyone from Montreal, if you from Toronto Paradise, stop. Please get them shut down. Um, this is this is an embarrassment to my culture. See you guys in the next video. As always, take care, peace, have fun, and yeah. Stay safe, guys. Peace.